Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm taking you to Lakeland, Florida, Swan City, and I'm going to show you 10 things to do in one of Central Florida's hippest communities. First on the list, the architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright at Florida Southern College. Covering 110 acres, this campus is one of the most beautiful you'll ever lay eyes on. Florida Southern is home to the largest collection of Frank Lloyd Wright architecture in the world. Twelve structures on campus were designed by the legendary architect, including two chapels and the water dome. The ultra-minimalist Usonian house was constructed in 2013, based on plans Wright left behind. Perhaps my favorite was the circular William M. Hollis room, a space that oozes retro with its rust and earth tones. A variety of tours are available that give architecture buffs or casual Wright fans an inside look at these inspiring buildings. I did a previous video with highlights from the basic tour you can check out. I'll leave a link in the description. The architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright at Florida Southern. It's something that shouldn't be missed when visiting Lakeland. A short drive west down Frank Lloyd Wright Way and you'll be in the heart of Dixieland. This eclectic historic district has origins dating back to 1907. Here you'll find some of the most established businesses in all of Lakeland. Family-owned Swift Shoe Repair has been operating out of the same location since 1949. Caffeine addicts can get their fix at Concord Coffee, a popular spot with the college crowd. But if it's a sweet tooth you're trying to satisfy, grab a spot in line at Born and Bread, our third recommendation. Abby and I passed by this bakehouse hotspot early on a Saturday morning, and there was a line out the door and down the sidewalk. We returned a few hours later to find more manageable lines. We picked out a strawberry lemonade cruffin from the pastry lineup, and it did not disappoint. That pink flamingo straw, yeah, Abby liked that. It was a nice touch. Our number four recommendation is a short walk from Born and Bread. Look for the antique car outside Dixieland Relics, and prepare to have your mind blown at the huge selection of vintage finds. Housed in an old garage service station, the interior has some well-curated pieces you'll be dying to take home. My kind of place, mantiques everywhere you turn. In the back is a garden and salvage area full of windows, doors, trunks, signage. You might even find Jesus there. I could have spent hours looking around this place. Drive south on Florida Avenue to Southwest Lakeland, where it's hard to miss the number five spot on our list. Built in 1957 and soaring 70 feet into the air, is the Southgate Shopping Center Arch. The space age symbol of Lakeland was made famous in the 1990 Johnny Depp film, Edward Scissorhands. Today, the arch is a local pop culture icon, appearing on everything from canvas prints to t-shirts. And don't forget to snap that all important selfie before you leave. The centerpiece of downtown Lakeland is Lake Mirror, our number six recommendation. While smaller than many of the city's other 30-plus named lakes, this one is by far the most picturesque. Dating back to the late 1920s, the Promenade is a great place to get in some exercise, to relax, or to see the swans, real or those that were artistically inspired. On the south side of Lake Mirror is number seven on the list, Hollis Garden. With its neoclassical elements, this well-manicured garden is a fun little slice of heaven to explore. The day we visited, there were a couple of photo shoots taking place, but it didn't interfere with our ability to enjoy the scenery. Next door is the Barnett Family Park, a great place to kill a few hours with those little ones. No matter where you are in Lakeland, keep your eyes peeled for public art, our number eight recommendation. It seems like it's everywhere you go in the city of just over 108,000 people. Sometimes the art is in unexpected places like the trees or the alleyways. Number nine is to explore downtown Lakeland itself. There are many beautiful old buildings in the downtown area that contain a good mix of cafes, restaurants, antique shops, and boutiques. That brings us to number 10 on our list, the combined shops of Rafa Natural and Scout and & Tag. Half of this brick and mortar is devoted to Lakeland-made organic natural products for bath, body, and home. 
while the other side features an eclectic blend of vintage, mid-century, and industrial furnishings. Abby and I agreed both of these shops we found extremely cool and we'll make sure it's the first place we hit the next time we visit Lakeland. Thank you so much for exploring Lakeland with me. Hopefully you found a new spot to check out the next time you're in the area. If I left something off the list, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Until next time.